Hey, 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 Facebook. It's been a little bit. Um, how are you guys doing? Ain't here. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm elated. Happy Friday. I am getting ready to check off one of an item off my bucket list. For many you guys know, for many of you know, I love makeup, right? And I have always, always, always wanted to go to a makeup show. But for some reason or another, I never did. Well, not only am I going, but I will be working our Limelight by Alcone booth. I believe it's a two or a three. We're right there in the front of the in the front entrance, and I am so excited. Just hoping my stomach, right? Because you know, got to take care of the the emotions because it will impact my nervous system and everything else. So I got to try and keep the cool. And so, I'm going with uh, a beautiful, one of our beautiful leaders. I'm driving up with her, and then we're going to meet two other amazing uh, leaders up there in, uh, in Orlando. And yeah, I'm excited. And then I get to do that all weekend, and then... It's just going to be oodles and oodles of fun, surrounded by makeup everywhere. Everywhere I look, there will be makeup. So, what are you guys intending to do this St. Patty's? By the way, happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, this St. Patty's weekend, what are you planning on doing? Anyone? Anyone? I am... I'm just using concealer. I've been using concealer all week. Just kind of putting it in the area that I need coverage. Um, not wanting to do a lot of full face foundation and all that. So... But the makeup show in Orlando, they bring in all the makeup brands, or at least a lot of makeup brands. I can't say all, right? But they're going to be, uh, there'll be workshops. I will pull, put the link below, um, somewhere on my page, I'll put the link. So if any of you are interested, you have to be a pro. Or invited by a pro, you know, and with a pro at all times in order for you to be able to even get in. Um, but yeah, that is that is major. So let's see what else happened this week. Well, this week I did get a little sick. It is what it is. Um, I'm not gonna dwell on that. Um, and. I'm just excited for so many things. So look, company is blooming. Things are going, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy what this company is going through as far as growth is concerned. Um, I know I've put out there a few posts to give you an idea of what has been happening. We've gone from $100,000 in sales to over $2 million in less than two months. That's crazy. No retailer can handle that type of volume and not see its inventory levels and everything uh, impacted, right? And so we are reacting. When I say we, I mean the company, right? Because this is my company. Expanding to a warehouse, there were some long-term goals that have to 
that were shift to uh, immediate goals, such as the switch and warehouse, and that had to take place in one to two days, and trying to disrupt business as least possible. So um, in the process, yes, of uh, order fulfillment, customer service, a lot of things, uh, receiving, all of that was impacted. And it was funny because Sunday, who says you can't apply what you hear at church in your day to day? So Sunday, pastor was preaching and he was talking about Sometimes you have some detours along, along the way. Um, and one of the things he said, he mentioned, was that he had seen a sign, a construction sign. And that construction sign said, short-term delay for a long-term relief. And so... I tell you, that has been resonating in my spirit all week because it, it hasn't applied to just one area of my life, which is crazy. It has applied to so many areas. We were looking at possibly moving. I mean, this has all been within the last two weeks. My son wants to change his job because... He wants other things to pursue other things. And he's at the age where, rightfully so, at 21, when you still haven't figured things out, you should be able to try different things, right? As long as they're good. Um, so you can find your true passion. And so working on that, helping him out, and then hubby wanted to move so that was that was another thing we were dealing with trying to find a place that would meet our needs and because each one in this household has a different need as many of you will probably have as well then we had just crazy at work so a lot of short term Delays, a lot of inconveniences to deal with, but I'm keeping that word in the forefront and reminding myself that what I am going through is a short-term delay for a long-term relief. And in doing that, guess what? My mindset is shifting from... <sighs> I hate that I'm going through this. I hate that this is grumpy, right? Negativity. Instead of that, I am staying positive. I am staying calm, cool, and collected, right? And I am allowing things to just to just go. And just just continue to move on. And not allow any distractions to deter me from what I'm set to do. So yeah, that's that's been it's been a it's been a rough two weeks to say the least. But he's got me through it, and I'm getting ready to go to Orlando to the makeup show. Yay! So that's where I'll be for the next few days. And just looking forward to learning, looking forward. Shh, Nena, Brownie. Okay, never bark. Chooses on my life to bark. Okay. Nena, you know I'm on live? If I'm on live, you can't be barking. So, um, you see, she understands. Uh, not really. My son had to come out and give her the, the look. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. There'll be seminars and workshops. And so even though I'll be working, we've divided the shifts so that we can also participate, you know, and, and look around and, and enjoy, 
our time there. So um, just love the opportunities that this company is giving me and things that I get to look forward to. So if you are planning on going to the makeup show, please look me up. I will be at the Limelight by Alcone um, booth. We can chat, right? And am I excited? Yes. You guys have no idea how excited I am. All right. So let's see what else happened this week. Oh, yeah. Guess what? I got some brushes in. All right. So I have... I've had my collection of brushes and I've said, you know, a brush is a brush, right? And this past weekend I was doing someone's makeup and she was like, a brush is a brush. And when I did her makeup, I allowed her to experience different brushes just to demo and realize that a brush is not just a brush because how it feels on your skin how things get applied how everything gets to blend it just makes such a huge difference you work less with a good brush i really didn't think so i'm a believer so i got our powder brush which i use for powder blush bronzer you name it i use it i got our tamer Brow Tamer. I have Anastasia's brow brush. Can I tell you something? This spoolie and the way this brush, the Sangle brush works. Ten times better. Then I got our blending brush. Right? One of them. Um, this one has... Uh, and then this one is our liner, you see? And because it has that edge there, wonderful, easy. And then this is the lip brush, because when you put lip gloss on with the brush, it just makes it look so much vibrant, so much more vibrant, and the lipstick, in order to, for you, you don't even need a, a lip liner when you use a brush. And then... I love this brush to stipple in our concealer and foundation. So I'm excited. All right. I got 10 more minutes to finish up this look because girls gotta go. Um, so uh, then I got, what else did I get? I got the mascara. I got, oh, my new baby. Hold on. Oh, don't. Well, I'm going to use it now so you get to see it. I've told you guys that one of the benefits, right, of most of our products is you determine what you want. So you make your own four well, uh, six well, uh, or single eyeshadow palettes. Long gone are the days of having to buy an 18 well palette, 16, 10, whatever, of colors that you end up using one or two. And then once you're done with those two colors... You got to buy the whole palette again. Not here. Here, you pop them in. They come in the single packaging. Like so. In a single packaging. Right? And you pop it out. Pops out in the back. And then you can pop it in to the four well or the six well, whichever you want. And then when you run out of it, you just have to replenish that one. In this one, I have one night stand, which is a nice light beige, a corkable, taupey brown, ashen for trouble, a little deeper than this one, and then la vida mocha, which is a darker brown. Now, remember, I have this one, right? So this one complements this one over here. So, and then if you want the lighter colors, I got those two. Yes, I do. These are in the pinky and the mauves. So, having said that, let's go and do, because 
I can tell you these eyeshadows are multi-purpose. They're very functional. So I can take from that one palette and this La Vida Mocha will be on my eyebrows. I can use it as an eyeliner. I can use, and you're going to see me use it here in a bit, um, Ashen for, Trub for Trouble. I'm going to use that one as my nose contour. Girlfriend needs to get her eyebrows done. But I've had not had time. It's a matter of making time. So, now that we've had the time change here in Florida, it's cool because now I'll have more time to do, get more things done. Um, so, to do my eyebrows, I just, basically, I just fill in I outline, which I guess is the most important part, and then I just go in and fill in where there may be some scarce hairs, right? And then I take the spoolie so that there's no. Did I'm done? I really don't put a lot of time into it because ain't nobody got time for that. Then I take a little of my concealer. This just sharpens the, the outline a little more. And then it becomes my primer. And I take the, my tool of preference, le dedo, my finger. And... Just make sure I spread it all over. Alrighty. That's done. I like to put a little powder just to make sure that it does not crease. Then I'm going to just take a big blending brush that I have and I'm going to take one night stand before I do that. I like to go up on my brow bone with a little crystal from the Dream Palette, which is just a nice champagne-y. Champagne type color. And then I'll go in with my one night stand. And then what I like to do. My Ricky Mira is has so much so cha has changed so much the way I do my makeup and the way I can see what I'm doing it's not even funny. Alrighty, and then while I'm there, I'm going to take the Ashen for Trouble. Remember I told you that. They were going to serve, serve as my contour. And I'll 
I'll be blending that out with a big brush. Because when you contour, you shouldn't have any harsh lines. You want to create a shadow, not a demarcation where it makes it look so obvious. I mean, you're always going to tell that you contour it because hello. But it shouldn't show this line going down. All right. And I just go in with my big brush. So, any hoots going back to all right. All right, so then. I'm going to go in with a lighter color and I'm going to pull out my cream boat here. Actually, I'm going to do pineapple of my eye. Excuse me. That brush flew out of my hand and into my case with my makeup case, which is right there next to me. So I have no idea why that happened, but it's all good. All right. So this is like a, a pineapple, right? Yellowy, matte. It's daytime, no need to have all that glitter and stuff. Don't judge, but not judging. Those who love it, amen. But at 50, we want to keep the glitter for night. <laughs> Especially if we have a hooded eye. You want to make sure that you use as much matte as possible. It's not that we can't use glitter. We can. Placement is everything. We can use color, right? It's just a matter of where we place it, blending it, and all that kind of stuff. And then I just blend in with the transition color that I just put on. I'm not doing anything major because I'm just wanting to keep things simple today. I'm going to go with a combination of a corkable and La Viva Mocha on the outer V. Remember with our eye open. You place the brush on top of the hood so that when the eye is open, you can tell where the color is. If you do it with the eye closed, you may be placing it in the hood and that when you open your eye, you can't see it. It drowns it. So, so nothing major, just a little something, something there. And then once I have it placed, when I'm going to blend, I can close the eye and then just do the blending. Simple look. Even? Yep. Looks even. And then I'm just going to take same combo of La Vida Mocha and a corkable and put it underneath the bottom lid okay and done with that and then I'm gonna take some of the uh, dark brown which is the number eight brownie points and I'm just going to use it as 
as an eyeliner. By just placing it as close to the lash line as possible. And then I can smoke it out if I want. So that it doesn't le look like a harsh line. But it's something very subtle. But that helps define the eye. And I don't take it all the way in. I usually just do it to half point of my eye. And same thing with the eyeshadow on the bottom. I don't take it all the way in. And then what I do is I take some of the pressed powder. And then I just, if there's any fallout, done. Bam. Boom. Eyeshadow done. Who says makeup's got to take forever? I don't think so. Because guess what? Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our bronzer, okay, and our big fluffy brush, and I am going to use our bronzer all over as if I had just came back from a beautiful outing in the sun. Then I will take our finishing spray while well, that dries. Mascara. And keep in mind, guys, when you're putting on, when you're going to use your mascara, never, ever, ever pump your mascara, right? Because that will cause it to clump because it causes air to go in. And so you should never pump your mascara. The way you should, your mascara, you should twirl. And then clean out the excess. Clean off the excess, I should say. And then... gonna let that coat dry while that dries I'm going to take care of my lips so I got oh that was something else I received this week I received my salted caramel and okay I just had it where'd you go why are you hiding on me, brush? Here it is. All right, so I'm going to try the Zulvid Caramel. Mm-mm-mm. With our lip brush. I'm telling you, makes all the difference in the world. 
when you have good brushes. It's like I've been telling you about skincare. When you work, when you have good skin, because the skin is good in good condition, guess what? You wear less makeup. Because then you're not using makeup to cover up. You're using the makeup to enhance. When you have to use the makeup to cover up blemishes and all that, not that, okay, I just got some on my black shirt. It's all good. Still got time to clean it up. Um, yeah, I was saying you don't, so I have some blemishes to cover up, but it's all good because then I can just use a little concealer when I don't need a full, you know, full-pledged makeup look I can just get a, get away with a little concealer and powder and then the rest of the you know blush and all that but I'm putting a little bit of our faith lip gloss Just to give it a little shine. Faith. Whoop, whoop. My favorite. Mixed with salted car caramel. New fave. And one more coat of mascara. And I'm done. Yay. All right. So. Did you know why we open up our mouth when we put mascara on? Guess what? So that you don't blink. <gasps> Amazing. Put it to the test and you'll see. All right. I'm done. This is the final look. Okay, Orlando, here I come. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I pray you have a blessed day. I pray that this week be a, a weekend of, of rest, relaxation, right, and spending time with your family. And if you have other things to do like me, that you enjoy what you're going to go do, create memories, build friendship, build relationships. And, I mean, this... This journey I'm on, it's allowing me to, to grow. It's allowing me to, to get out of my box because I would have never, ever gone on a girl's trip. You know, um, thinking back to, to my old mindset, right? Um, but you know, it's good. It's a good thing. It's a good season. It's a good time in my life. I'm happy. Um, and yeah, it's time to start doing things differently. And so the opportunities that I am being given, I have every intent of taking advantage of all of them and just going on and creating a brand and building my brand, Big and Elegant, and building my business. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you like what you saw, please share, comment, like, and in doing so, you are helping me build my brand and helping me, right? helping my business grow. So thank you again. If you like any of the products that you saw here, then um, feel free to reach out to uh, me, private message me, and I'll tell you exactly which products, or you can find them on www.bigandelegant.com. So thank you, and that's big, the letter N, elegant.com. Thank you, be blessed, stay safe, and enjoy your day. Bye.